warning, this video contains spoilers. Spoilery spoilers of the spoiling kind. If you have a festive kit that matches the title of the video, and you don't want to see it all opened at once, click away. You've been warned. Yar, There be spoilers here. Arr. Good morning, everyone. Happy holidays. My name is Kay, and this is my Cave of Possibilities. I have cross-stitch over here, knitting over here, and a little bit of sewing supplies in the bookshelf behind me. Today, we are going to open up the uh, Pancake and Lulu festive kit. Her theme is a yarn tasting, which is her second year in a row going with that theme. I purchased this one last year and it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it so I purchased it again this year. Before we get too much further and I forget, the sweater I'm wearing today is the Whitmore cardigan that my mother knit for me. Uh, she knit it in the Taki Classic Sock Superwash Merino and I don't know what the color is but it's it's a nice a teal and usually when I'm wearing a purple shirt underneath you know the purples and teals they go together so well I just I just love it let's take a look at the uh, mm, container bag that the uh, Pancake and Lulu set came in it's one of those really fun um, backpack things it will make a great uh, tragic bag uh, once everything is is in it. It's still in a plastic bag in this bag so there's going to be some crinkling when I slide it out. I'll try to mute that in uh, or turn down the volume when I do the editing. But let's, let's start to get let's start to get started. Let's get started. Before we really get crinkling. Here's what the kit looks like inside the plastic. As this is a uh, yarn tasting, Pancake and Lulu gives us a menu. And for all the days, they have, let's see, a recipe or some search sort with it. So you can scan the QR code and it'll take you to the website where the recipe that inspired the color of the yarn is included on. I think we're going to be doing a little bit of editing on this one because I, I peeked at one and the yarn skeins are not labeled one through whatever. So I'll probably be labeling the skeins as we go along which will require extra editing but it won't make a difference to you, it'll only make a difference to me. Right? Right. At the very top of the uh, basket that I, I pulled out before I showed it to you was this gorgeous candle. And a cute little, cute little glass. Nice design. I don't know if the design is picking up on you. And it is so heavily saturated that it is just it's delicious. It is uh, lavender uh, primarily and linen, I think is what the uh, label said because I threw it away all right. And these were made by the uh, Hiber Knitter. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful candles. It's already freshening up the, uh, the, uh, the Cave of Possibilities. Anyway, let's just get started. I believe this is a loose gradient but the bags, I just, I dumped them out all over. So they're all over the place. So I don't think we're going to be opening them in order. With that said, let's start with number five. This is the one I peeked at earlier. So number five is a soft blue, a little bit of green and orange. This is, turn it over, blue mojito. Number four, Frosted Donut. Two, Cocoa Snowball. I found number one, 
pistachio icing. And in it was this cute little snowman. Progress keeper. Sugar cookie. Number three. Number six is Blue Bliss. Seven is Emerald Buttercup. I wonder what recipe that is. Nine is Matcha Bark. Ten is Hemingway Champagne. That is a bright yellow. Eight is Spirulina Smoothie. It kind of bridges between the greens where we were at and the yellows where we are going. Eleven is Rum Eggnog Cake. And that one came with a little extra of some holiday themed washi tape. Twelve is salted caramel. Rich, rich oranges. This is pine cone truffle. I wonder if the recipe has it in the shape of a pine cone or if it's made from pine cones. Fourteen is mistletoe margarita. Coconut meringue. This is our number fifteen. And has a little extra in here. Lip, lip natural lip balm. Teeny tiny lip balm. Sixteen is maple grapefruit. Interesting. Seventeen is glog. I have no idea what glog is. Nineteen is ruby chocolate. Back to the pinks that I love. And in that was a single serve stash high tea, stash tea. I don't drink tea, so this will get passed along eventually to somebody. Nineteen. Yep, nineteen. This is called Dragon Treat. It's bright. It's pink. I like it. I have no idea what a Dragon Treat is. This is twenty. Purples, purples, purples. It is called Sparkling Geode. This is the Empress. She is day number twenty-one. My favorite purples. 22, blueberry cookie. Purple again, and I like the purple so much. 23, Earl Grey Lavender. Twenty-four, and this is butterfly tea. Day 25 is Blackberry Pavlova. My favorite purples. And it came with a little sample of soak. Here is our Pancake and Lulu 2022 holiday pin. A tasty cupcake. And we have the mini or the uh, main color uh, full skein to unwrap. This is a French chocolate something or another that I can't pronounce. Look at that! All sorts of colors going on in that one. Really quite fun. Oh, 
one more uh, additional. <laughs> it's a marker rune with little um, stitch markers inside. Little case. There's six little tiny stitch markers with little food themes. Those are cute. These are cute. Those are really cute. Okay. This is a gradient set. So of course I will take it into the uh, kitchen, take a picture of them all nice and laid out for you to see from one to 25 with our main skein. Beautiful set, quite fun. It'll be interesting to see what all the recipes are that she's included on our uh, tasting menu. And with that, I guess we'll see you next time. I hope you're having a good day, that the holidays aren't beating you down too much. Remember, kindness costs you nothing. Hugs and stitches, everyone. Bye!